All praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wabrakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters also, the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. This is the book of Romans chapter 5 and verse 20. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Thanks to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the grace that has been given to us through Yahweh Shai outweighs our sins and our iniquities, which are innumerable. Without Yahweh Shai, we have no chance. Okay? We are not going to be saved by keeping the laws. Now, the laws are not done away with. We are to still keep the laws to the best of our ability. But we are not going to be saved off of keeping the laws because it is impossible to keep the laws 100%. And breaking one law, you're guilty of all the laws. Now, understanding that grace abounds more than our iniquities, that doesn't mean we should take the grace and the mercy of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for granted. Let's grab this Apocrypha. Ecclesiasticus chapter 5, I believe, in verse 6. And say not, His mercy is great. Now we understand we have grace. We understand that grace actually outweighs our sins according to what I just read in Romans 5 and 20. Okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 6. And say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation resteth upon sinners. Now, understanding that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is merciful, He's also wrathful. He's also wrathful as well. You can't. We should not be in the mentality of thinking the Lord is only going to show grace and mercy, so we can just do what we want. We don't have any lines of limitation. Grace and mercy given unto us. <laughs> guess what? It comes with conditions. And one of those conditions is what? Doing this work. If you are a man who put your hand to the plow, if you want to receive that grace and that mercy, you have to be doing the work. You have to be diligent. Okay? Let's go to the book of, we'll stay in the Apocrypha, but let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus. I believe it's 18 and verse 4. Notification. Let me try 14. Okay. Ecclesiasticus chapter 18 and verse 14. He hath mercy on them that receive discipline and that diligently seek after his judgments. So, yes, the Lord is merciful. But don't only say the Lord is merciful. He's only going to be merciful unto them who receive his discipline and that diligently seek him. And a part of diligently seeking him is doing the work. Diligently doing this work is a part of diligently seeking after his judgments. Being useful within this ministry. 
The Lord isn't just throwing out grace and mercy with no condition. Now, grace comes from Yahweh Shai. And thanks to Yahweh Shai, our grace given to us actually outweighs our sins. But we should not take the grace that's given to us in vain. Because if we want that mercy, if we want that grace from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, let's read this again. Ecclesiastes chapter 18 and verse 14. He hath mercy on them that receive discipline and that diligently seek after his judgments. So in order to receive mercy, it comes with conditions. The Lord isn't just throwing out mercy and grace just for man and woman to do whatever the hell they want to do. Do all the filth, all the unjust activities they want and then think they're going to receive grace and mercy. That's not what this is. The elect, which have been handpicked from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, have been set aside, and because of the Lord showing mercy and favor upon them, okay, He's not going to destroy the earth. That's grace and mercy. Now, those elect are also going to be doing what? Receiving His discipline, seeking after His judgments. Let's go to 2 Ezra. Chapter 7 in verse 66. And that he is of great mercy, for he multiplieth more and more mercies to them that are present and that are past and also to them which are to come. So the Lord has always had an elect and the elect have come back over and over and over again. Okay? Verse 67. For if he shall not multiply his mercies, the world would not continue with them that inherit therein. So if the Lord didn't have mercy, if he didn't have an elect, guess what? There would be no purpose of the earth existing. Okay? The reason why there is an elect that is how the Lord shows his mercy is through his elect. Now, even outside of the elect, the Lord still feeds people, clothes people, right? Even seeing that, the Lord is showing mercy even unto his enemies. But ultimate favor is being given, is being granted to the Lord's elect. Okay? The elect of the nation of Israel. And because of the elect of the nation of Israel, the earth exists. Verse 67, For if he shall not multiply his mercies, the world would not continue with them that inherit therein. And he pardoneth, for if he did not sow of his goodness, that they which have committed iniquities might be eased of them. The ten thousandth part of men should not remain living. So thank goodness, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai has pardoned the sins of the elect. Because whoever the elect are, the earth still exists because they exist. Because the Lord is going to be favorable upon that group of people, those individuals. Okay? And because of Yahweh Shai going to that cross, the sins of Israel, starting with the elect, have been pardoned. Thanks to Yahweh Shai going to that cross, our grace that has been given to us outweighs our iniquities. Okay? Just like light chases away the dark, grace outweighs our iniquities through Yahweh Shai. And through Yahweh Shai, there's an elect that's been set to the side. Okay? Verse 69. And being judged, if he should not forgive them that are cured with, the, with his word and put out the multitude of contentions, there should be very few left per adventure in an innumerable multitude. So Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai has set aside an elect who have been cured with the word. We are being healed 
through the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. If there was not an elect, pretty much everybody would be destroyed. Thank Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for the elect. Now that grace, like I've stated before, comes with conditions. And that grace is not for everybody. Let's jump back to 66. Second Ezra 7 and 66. And that he is of great mercy, for he multiplieth more and more mercies to them that are present and that are past, and also to them which are to come. Now, those who are going to receive that great mercy, they are the elect. They are known as the Israel of God as well. Let's touch on the book of Galatians. Chapter 6 and verse 16. And as many walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy and upon the Israel of the power. So the Israel of the power are going to receive that mercy, that grace from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai by walking according to this rule. Okay? From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach be with your spirit. Amen. So, the grace of Yahweh Shai is with us. The grace of Yahweh Shai has been given to us freely. Well, we have to pay with ourselves. We have to pay making a living sacrifice. But nevertheless, we're not paying money to receive this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We're paying with time. We're paying with sacrifice. We're paying with discipline. Okay? And through Yahweh Shai, we're hoping to receive that grace. Because a lot of men in Israel... They take the grace of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in vain. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 1. We then as workers together with him beseech you also that you receive not the grace of the power in vain. Going into that word vain in Greek 27 and 56. The word is kenos. Empty, vain, devoid of truth. Of places, vessels, etc., which contain nothing. Of men, empty handed, without a gift, metaphorically destitute of spiritual wealth, of one who boasts of his faith as transcendent position, yet is without the fruits of faith, metaphorically of endeavors, labors, acts, which result in nothing, vain, fruitless, without effect, vain, of no purpose. So we don't want to take the grace of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai like it's nothing, like it's empty, like there's no purpose for it. Like it's just something that anyone can get just by saying, I want it and that's all. No, grace comes with conditions and those conditions are going to be met by the elect because the elect were made to be different from the rest of this world. Okay. So seeing that we're looking forward to that grace and that mercy, it comes with condition. Another condition that comes with receiving grace, we have to trust in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So when you go to Psalms chapter 32, I believe it's Psalms chapter 32. Let me see. Let me read this. Psalms chapter 32 and 10. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. So trusting in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is another way how we are going to receive mercy. Mercy isn't just something the Lord's going to just give to you and you have absolutely no effort to give. Okay? Grace, mercy, being delivered, comes with conditions okay and i'm giving you 
some of those conditions according to the scriptures. And seeing that there is an elect that have been set to the side, the earth still exists. Okay? And seeing that the earth still exists, that shows you that the Israelites, and even further, the elect of Israel, are still here. Because grace has been promised to the elect from the very, very beginning. Let's go to Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 and verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Let's jump down to 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of the powers elect? It is the power that justifies. So the elect are justified in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. They are the ones who are going to receive grace and mercy. Okay, but it's not going to happen just based off of them twiddling their thumb. Now, this is Greek 13 and 44. In the word justifieth, Greek 13 and 44. The word is dikayu, to render righteous or such he ought to be, to show, exhibit, ev events, one to be righteous, such as he is and wishes himself to be considered, to declare, pronounce, one to be just, righteous, or such as he ought to be, to render, that is, show or regard, just or innocent, freely justify, righteous. So, the elect in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai are innocent, are guiltless, are justified, are going to receive that grace and that mercy. Okay? And thank Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for that. We need grace. We need mercy. Okay? And seeing that the Lord's not going to destroy all of Israel, that's Him showing mercy. That's Him showing favor. Okay, let's go to uh, Isaiah 65 in verse 8. Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, destroy it not. For a blessing is in it, so will I do for my servant's sake, that I, might, that I may not destroy them all. So all of Israel is not going to be destroyed. The elect are going to be delivered, but the rest of the Israelites are going to be destroyed. Okay, that's why we constantly speak on the elect of the nation of Israel. When you're new and you're speaking to people about this truth, and you may feel a certain way because people are rejecting you, they're not rejecting you, they're rejecting the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, this truth isn't for everybody. This truth is only for the elect. That's how the elect are going to receive that grace is through this word curing them, this word healing them. Okay? And we're hoping that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai hides his face from our sins by us doing the best that we can to please him. Okay? And that's the importance of Yahweh Shai as well. So I'm going to close it with this here in Luke chapter 1. In verse 14, And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their power. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am with Gabriel that stand in the presence of the power, and am sent to speak unto thee, and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak, until the day that these 
thing shall be performed because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. Let me get to the point here. Luke chapter 1 and 28. And the angel came unto her, speaking of Mary, and said, Hail, hail, thou, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Also showing that there are women who are also favored in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Shai. When we speak of the elect, the elect starts with the men, of course. But Yahweh by Shem Shai is also going to show grace and mercy and favor upon certain women as well. Okay? How do you think we're going to help uh, populate the earth? It's through our women. Okay? Heathen women also. But seeing how wicked a lot of these women are in today's world, you would think no woman's going to be saved. There are going to be there are going to be many women saved. Now, whether or not we'll be in the kingdom impregnating heathen women, we'll see how that works. But we know for a fact we're going to be impregnating our women at a rapid rate. Our people are going to be multiplied very quickly. There's going to be a lot of sex in the kingdom. Okay? So seeing that the Lord is showing grace, he's showing favor upon a certain particular group known as the elect. We can't take that for granted. We can't think that it's just going to happen by us just breathing and twiddling our thumbs. It comes with work. It comes with conditions. Okay? And the scriptures tell us that uh, we are we are as filthy rags in the book of Isaiah 64, I believe. So seeing that we are, seeing that we all are as filthy rags, we have hope that we get delivered. We're not sure if we're going to make it. We have hope. We have faith that we're going to make it. But, you know, we're, we're going to find out. I'll close it with this. Jude 1 and 21. Keep yourselves in the love, the love of the power, looking for the mercy of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach unto eternal life. So we're looking for mercy. We're hoping for it. Okay? Going into looking for Greek 43 and 27. The word is pros dech omehi. That's a, that's, a, that's a real one right there. To receive to oneself, to admit, to give access to oneself, to admit one, receive one into intercourse and companionship, to receive one, to accept a thing offered, to accept the fulfillment of, pro of promises. So let's read this again, Jude 1 and 21. Keep yourselves in the love of the power, looking for the mercy of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach until eternal life. And we're looking to receive those promises. We're looking, let's go back into that word, um, expect the fulfillment of promises. We're looking forward to expect the fulfillment of the promises that have been promised unto us. We're hoping for that mercy. Okay, keep yourselves in the love of the power, looking for the mercy of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, unto eternal life. And of some have compassion making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Okay, and that's what brothers do. Sometimes we'll come compassionately. Sometimes we'll come more soft-spoken, as you will call it. Other times we may have to chew your ass out because you are rebellious, hard-headed, Negro, Latino, or Native American. Okay? We go off the spirit. We make our forehead, our foreheads Hard against their foreheads if need be. So we have to keep ourselves in the love of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai while looking for that mercy. Okay? And it's not just going to be Israelite men, it's going to be Israelite women as well who are also going to be looked at with favor. Just as the Lord looked at uh, Mary with favor, she was a woman. There are many women who the Lord is going to look upon with favor as well, and he's going to give them grace and mercy 
And when that happens, it's not going to be because of your righteousness. Okay, it's going to be because the Lord wanted to have mercy upon you. He wanted to use you as an example of his grace. Because none of us are making it off of our righteousness. Nevertheless, we're going to do what we can to be righteous. So I'm going to go on ahead and close it there and give all thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Shalom.